Hello, this is Phil with Inks Open. If you are watching this video, you are probably already familiar with Nextcloud. Uh, it is a popular open source software, provides a range of services, including a calendar application. Allows you to create, manage events, appointments, tasks. Here are some quick tips on how to use it. First of all, you're going to log into Nextcloud. And we're going to go up here to the Calendar app. Boom, here we are. Now, this is uh, our demo Nextcloud instance. Um, as you can see over here, we've got a couple calendars that are set up already. Um, we have a, a personal one. Um, and then tasks. Um, for all of our clients, we have uh, tasks pre-installed. So that is already in here. So for starters, we're going to add a new calendar. So we're just going to click on the new calendar. We're going to start up a new calendar. Here we're going to give it a name. Now, if you've seen any of our previous videos, you'll know that uh, as a demo for showing you, we have worked with our marketing department before. So we are going to do a marketing calendar. We will start that up. Boom, marketing. Um, you can edit this calendar, you know. Uh, you might want to change the color. I don't know what you want to use. Uh, yeah, looks lovely. Perfect. Oh, you can, you know, get in depth here too if you want to get like crazy about it. Okay, so marketing is green with envy. So, um, we're going to start with marketing. Now, when you are viewing events in your calendar, you, you know, if you have a lot of different things going on, you might want to turn some of these off. You know, you could turn off your personal one. Uh, you could turn off the tasks and just look at marketing. Um, just a simple click. Or you can have them all on and you will see all of your stuff in the calendar at the same time. Um, you can also look at your calendar in different views if you want to look at it by day week, month, or a list of events, uh, and they will all be listed in there. We're going with month view. Okay, so we have our marketing calendar set up. So now let's create an event. So all we got to do is click on a day. We're going to get the event title what calendar we want it to go in. Um, we can fill all, we can fill this stuff in right here. Um, but I like to just go immediately down to more. Now I can get all of the information in one shot. We'll give it a title. Maybe we have a, oops big meeting coming up. So big meeting. This is not a personal. It is for our marketing department. Okay. So on this is not an all day meeting. <laughs> we can set the time, you know, maybe it is going from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. Okay, so we've got details. We can add a location to it. Uh, we could add a description. Um, maybe in the description we want to, uh, maybe since it's going from 11 until 1, maybe we just want to uh, tell people that um, lunch will be served. Okay. Uh, 
confirmed, tentative, canceled, we're confirmed. Uh, what else do we have? We can give it a color. We're just going to leave it as green. You can put it in categories if you have different categories. Uh, you can add reminders and uh, recurrence. So maybe it's something that you do every Wednesday. You could make it, re you know, you could make it repeat. Um, but we're not doing that. This is just a one-time meeting. Um, we're going to add some reminders, though. Uh, I like to have a reminder an hour before the event starts. We're going to add another one. I also like to know the day before, just so I know, hey, tomorrow I've got this big meeting. Um, and then an hour before saying, hey, you better get your, get your stuff together because this meeting's coming up in an hour. You do whatever works for you. That's just what works for me. So... Um, we also have, uh, resources over here. Maybe in your organization, you have several meeting rooms. You could, uh, put those meeting rooms in there and, uh, reserve one of those meeting rooms right from here. Minimum seating capacity, you know, room type, that type of thing. Um, that stuff is in there. Attendees, uh, all you have to do is, uh, search for somebody. Um, Eric is my business partner. I could put him in as an attendee and then, uh, and then it would send him out an email for that, for this event. But, uh, we are just going to save this. Boom. There's our meeting. Now let's say that we want to edit something on here. You can just click on it. The main information is right here. Uh, but we can also click the more button and you can adjust anything that's on here. Okay. So now we have this marketing calendar. Now, right now, only I can see this marketing calendar, but let's say that I want other people to be able to see the marketing calendar. Like, let's say the people in the marketing department. Well, I can go right over here into the edit and share. Now I can, you know, share a link to it, but I can go right into here and we have a fake employee named Jimmy who is the head of our marketing department. And if I type in Jimmy's name, oh, look at that. There's Jimmy. I can, I can share the calendar with Jimmy. But now let's say I'm going to take Jimmy off here. Now let's say that I don't want to just share it with Jimmy. Let's say that I want to share this calendar, this marketing calendar with the entire marketing staff. Now, if you've seen my, uh, seen our, our video about users, uh, there we created users and we created user groups. Now, we have a user group named marketing. Everybody in our marketing department is in this marketing user group. So I can go right into here, type in marketing or MAR, get the marketing. Now, everybody that's in our marketing group, in that marketing user group, can now uh, see this calendar. Now, just because they can see the calendar doesn't mean they can edit the calendar. And maybe, you know, I can, I can click so that they can edit it right here, but maybe I don't want everybody to be able to edit that calendar. Maybe I only want Jimmy, who is the head of our marketing department, to be able to edit it. Well, even though Jimmy is a part of this marketing group, I can still type in Jimmy right here not Jami, Jimmy right here, and add him in. So now the marketing group, the user group, can see the calendar, but Jimmy, as the head of the marketing department, can also then edit that calendar. Okay, one last thing before we go. 
if you are brand new in this calendaring application and you're using a different calendar app, you can go to the calendar settings and you can import a calendar right in here. So that is right inside here in the calendar settings. Um, if you have a calendar in here and you want to export it to a different calendar app, that export button is right here. And that will allow you to transfer your calendar data to other applications and platforms. All right, that's it. Now you can use the calendar in NextCloud, keep track of your schedule, appointments, tasks. I hope that this video helped you out, and I'll see you in the next one.